And back here in Nigeria, the World Bank has released its latest report on Nigeria's economic update, saying the country is still recovering from the 2016 recession, projecting a 2% growth in 2019 and 2.1% 2 for 2020 and 2021. The report notes that more Nigerians are looking for jobs, but few are finding them, leading to what could result in more people living in poverty. The World Bank therefore advises Nigeria to boost productivity that will help promote growth and job creation. The new economic update adds that Nigeria's outlook is vulnerable to external and domestic risks if oil prices decline to 2016 levels, potentially leading to another recession. The federal government has therefore advised to lay the groundwork for a transition to a new economic model that more effectively utilizes the country's large, young population and abundant natural resources to support sustainable growth and poverty reduction. And Kenya Airways needs to retain flexibility and avoid government-imposed limitations such as rigid procurement regulations after nationalization if the loss-making carrier wants to be competitive. This is according to its chief executive, Sebastian Mikols. He says the government must move quickly to nationalize the airline as regional competitors seeking to carve out market share pour cash into their national carriers. Lie. Lawmakers voted to renationalize the loss-making airline, which is 48.9% state-owned, 7.8% held by Air France KLM, and 38% owned by local lenders, hoping to emulate the success of state-owned Ethiopian Airlines, Sub-Saharan Africa's biggest airline. Kenya Airways was privatized more than 20 years ago, but sank into debt and losses in 2014 after a failed expansion drive and a slump in travelers after a major terror attack. In August, it saw its first half pre-tax loss more than double from a year earlier to 8.56 billion Kenyan shillings, that's $83 million. Chief Executive Sebastian Miko said the government will likely appoint a nationalization advisor by the end of the year and the process should be completed next year. As, as an airline, we, we, have a, we have a need of, uh, of, of course, equity injection, we have a need of uh, cash flow improvement, and we have, um, yeah, we have a need of, of, of growing our market share. So, so, yeah, if we had 450, but uh, 350 would do too. It's not, it's not a, it's not a, it's, it's more of a, again, it's not a, <laughs> it's not a precise accounting figure. Yeah. Countries like Tanzania and Rwanda are investing heavily in their national carriers, threatening Kenya Airways market share. Ethiopian Airlines runs air transport assets, including airports and fueling operations under a single company. Funds from the profitable parts support the others. KQ can be profitable. But I don't believe it can be profitable without investments. Because, you know, in this industry, if you want to have, a, if you want to have a dollarless costs, you need to invest two dollars. And I'm not talking about bringing billions of dollars for the fleet. No, 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 no. I'm talking really about the things on the ground. Mm -hmm.